I just want to go over how to use the capacity chart on a forklift. Many of you have seen these. Some of you know how to use them. Somehow know how to use them a little bit. It's, it's not hard to figure out, but there's a much easier way to use them um, instead of guessing. So I'm going to go over that. But first of all, you got to make sure that you match your capacity chart with the equipment you're using. So here's the model number of the forklift. And then over here would be whatever attachment that you're using. So if you've got a 72 inch carriage or a 48 inch carriage, you make sure you use the right chart. Okay, so I'm going to go over how to use this and how to make it a lot simpler. Okay, so instead of guessing how high up and how far away you're going to reach, it's much simpler just to do a dry run. It'll be worth the time it takes to do it because then you'll know you're doing it right. These numbers on the boom do have a meaning. So if you'll notice when you scope out the boom, the numbers get bigger. So as you're doing your dry run and you get to the distance you're going to go, look at what number is showing. So if there's a 2 or a 5 or a 6, whatever it is, remember that number. And wherever it is that you're lifting to, as you've lifted the forklift up and it changes the angle on the indicator here, look and see what, what the angle is. So if it's 30 degrees and a number 5, remember those two numbers and then we'll go back to the chart. Okay, so let's say that our number was 5. So we look at the chart and you look at the number 5 and you follow this line down to the 30 because we said we were at 30 degrees and a 5. So there's your 30 degrees right here and there's your 5 and you follow it down right here to where the points intersect and you look at what range the weight you're in. So we're right right here within these here's this line and this thick dark line that puts us into this whole area right here 2,000 pounds so that means that 30 and 5 you're capable of safely doing 2,000 pounds it's that simple take into consideration that these charts were based on perfect situations hard dry flat surfaces no wind as good as it can get okay so if you have situations like you're on a slanted hill or the ground is soft or muddy all this stuff can make a difference in in your weight capacity so if your tires are low uh, the position of the load uneven load the dynamics of the load if it's swinging or moving a lot of things to consider there so remember to build in a buffer if you're close to the limit